How you going? Yeah, that's good. That's, that's cool. Hey, uh, I have a thing, my friends and I have this thing called the abomination theory, and it's based on the fact that in this world there's you, but then there's people who look like you but better, <laughs> and then there's people who look like you but worse, right? We call them your abomination. <laughs> and then every time we see each other's abomination, we'll give each other a call. And I got a call from my friend the other day. He said, oh, I saw your abomination. It was so funny. Said she was carrying two plastic bags full of chicken and sweating, kind of hobbling along the street. <laughs> and I was like, what, like an hour ago? <laughs> <laughs> the worst version of myself. <laughs> I realise I only get catcalled at a certain time of the day. It's just real early in the morning. It's before the tradies have had time to calibrate what's hot. <laughs> before they've had a chalky milk. <laughs> In I go. Um, and then during the day, I don't get cat calls, I get dad nods. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, it's when a dad is on his way to or from a school pickup. He'll just be driving, he clocks me, and he just goes, <laughs> doesn't even want to fuck me. Just like, oh, you've kept yourself neat, haven't you? <laughs> nice work. <laughs> I don't mind, I don't like being left out. You know, like, uh, like I've got friends always talking about dick pics. It's like they're Googling pictures of dicks. I, I, I never, I've never had an unsolicited dick pic. I've had a reluctant dick pic. <laughs> I've been like, come on, send it. <laughs> I don't know. And so I don't even really want them. I just, I just want to be in the mix. Like, I've seen them. I get my friends to forward them on. <laughs> and I get the same feeling when I see a dick pic as when my aunt and uncle try and show me their travel photos. I'm like, oh, I can see you've had fun, but I feel nothing. <laughs> it's an unattached dick. I don't know what to do. Kick it off the stage if it was on there. <laughs> I went on a date recently with a uh, guy and I was trying to be cute and fun. We were sitting next to each other at the cinema and I tried to say, I want to kiss, like text him a thing saying, I want to kiss with a little emoji. Right, but my iPhone auto-corrected it, so what he received was just, I want a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and then the emoji's like, <laughs> 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 It's the worst. <laughs> I don't know if even, I don't know if I want a kid. I had to take the morning after pill recently. It's very awkward, because you have to admit to a stranger that you've had sex in the past 24 hours. And besides you guys, I like to never do that. Um, <laughs> To the point where if I see a pregnant woman walking along the street, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe you're admitting it. <laughs> oh, embarrassing. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> so I went in and the chemist was, he's quite nice and normal. And then at the end, like, so he sort of took me through the process. And then at the end he goes, oh, I know this is a bit weird, but would you like to go to lunch sometime? <laughs> And I didn't know how to react. I just acted like he'd asked me for second lunch. I was like, oh, I couldn't, I'm full. <laughs> I've come, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much.